Alas, another Monday, another who would win. And today, by the way, you'll notice the uh, Death Bell Tournament, uh, Winners Tournament, and the um, big words here. Pokemon Team video came out earlier today, not yesterday. Uh, things got a little, uh, a little, um, I got a little behind on some things yesterday, so that's why it didn't come out. I mean, I had recorded them on Sunday, but I just didn't get them out till Monday. Uh, but regardless, we now have our next two win. This comes to us from K. Uh, BTW, or K, okay, by the way, who asked the question, who went on the flight? The Smallville version of the Justice, uh, of the Justice Society of America, or the Arrowverse version of, uh, this is a Justice Society of, I guess, I guess they're the Arrow, I don't think they ever actually fully specified what they were. They weren't the Justice League. But they were, eh, what's the best way to put it? They were basically like a Justice Society. Now, if I remember correctly, and I might be remembering this wrong, I'm trying to remember exactly who was sitting at that table. I got like the picture here, but I'm trying to remember exactly who was sitting at that table. We had Supergirl, Superman, um, Black Lightning, Flash, Canary of some kind, and Diggle and Batgirl. Uh, in essence, you're Batman. Uh, with the Justice Society of America in Smallville, uh, there are a lot of our former members, original members, all that. Some are deceased, some are not. But we do see them in the show, so we should look at them as a whole. Uh, Hawkman was the leader, and uh, and Hawkgirl's husband, and Hawkgirl was, you know, Hawkman and Hawkgirl are there, but they died. Also dead is Dr. Fate, but Dr. Fate can exist as the helmet, so there you go. Um... Star Spangled Kid, also deceased. Who the hell is Star Spangled Kid? Uh, you, you'll note, I never watched Smallville. Um, Star Spangled Kid, I don't think this character has any powers, or than probably like a good fighter and in good shape. So, take that for what it's worth. Um, we also had Sandman, who is now, is this, I, again, Sandman, it's not, um, not dream it's and it's not uh sandman as in you know the villain from marvel because dc sandman uh retired superhero known as sandman a member of the justice society of america he was murdered by a metahuman assassin known as icicle interesting uh powers and abilities prophetic visions wow okay wow this guy is completely useless in a fight then. <laughs> the atom okay we know where the atom is and he lived uh, Spectre, his status is currently unknown, but it's the freaking Spectre, okay? The Spectre can do a lot. Our Man, the current status is unknown. According to Dr. Fate, the clock stopped ticking for Our Man, meaning he could have very well be dead. Uh, Dr. Midnight, M not, not Midnight, but Midnight. Uh, so Our Man's powers and abilities, one second here. Because these are, some of these are characters even I don't know, and I'm pretty well versed when it comes to, um... Like heavy lore, uh, Rex Tyler. Let's see here. Apparently, I can't get Rex Tyler up here. Uh, let's see here. Doctor Midnight, Charles McNighter, uh, retired superhero. I, um, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything in terms of powers or abilities. Doctor Midnight. This might be a very much like a Watchmen scenario where. So many of them didn't have any actual powers. They just, you know, did what they did. Black Canary. We know who Black Canary is. Um, Mr. Terrific. His current status on no current Dr. Face, he wasn't so terrific anymore, meaning he could very well be dead. Uh, Green Air, uh, Green Lantern. Well, that's that's an obvious one, Green Lantern. The Flash. Uh, yep, yep, I remember Flash. Wildcat. Um, and Stargirl, who does have powers. The Affiliations... Uh, some members of Justice Society all came out of retirement, joined forces with Oliver. There are a little Justice League members, apparently, affiliated with. Red Tornado, uh, and Stripies, former sidekick and Star Spangled kid, a kid and stepfather of Stargirl. It's kind of like the Bucky to Captain America, I'm guessing. Uh, now keep in mind, the Smallverse universe uh, is also not as powerful as it's actually a pretty weak universe compared to like your standard comic universe interpretation of these characters. Hell, even um, Supergirl. Eh, I mean, I, I am referencing this a little bit, but Supergirl's universe has stronger characters 
than, uh, um, what's the best way to put it? The Supergirl universe that we see in Flash, the Arrowverse universe, for example, does have stronger characters than what we see, I think, in CW. Not all of them, obviously. But it's still a relatively weak universe. Uh, and that kind of leads to my, uh, ultimately, to what I kind of interpret here. Um, you have Black Bolt, you have Superman, Flash, Batgirl, Supergirl, Canary and uh, John Diggle, which I believe is, jo which they say, I mean, there's John Jones here in the image. Um, and, you know, they got Arrow in the back there, who's, who's no longer alive. Uh, rest in peace, Arrowverse. Uh, I never watched Arrow myself, but, I, you know, fair is fair. Um, but um, the question obviously ultimately comes down to, is one universe stronger than the other here? And I will, de and I will say this. The fact of the matter is that there, the Justice League of Society, um, or Justice Society of America, they show up in Smallville certainly, but they do not have Superman in this in this lineup. Like, um, as far as I can tell, there is no Superman. Like, Clark is not a member of the team in this, so you can't include Superman. And even if I were to. I, we have an older, more experienced Superman in this, uh, this version, the Arrowverse version. So I got to give that edge if they even had Superman to the more experienced Superman. And then you have Supergirl, who's allegedly stronger than Superman. Now, I have been on record saying, I'm not a big Superman fan. I don't really like the character that much. But even now, I got to say, it's like, don't fucking job Superman. Like, like he doesn't say, you're strong. You're what this world needs. Not me, blub. I was going at full power without being held. I don't. Cut the crap! I I I, I could, couldn't get back into Super after season one, and like I I tried I did, but because uh, I was doing some um, I was doing vlogs um, on season one uh, of Air Supergirl. I'm like okay, I mean whatever. Start out like start out terribly, but it ultimately it was okay. Um, but it, well, and I wasn't around for when they jobbed Superman, but. Even though I'm like, oh, that's no, you don't do that. You don't do that. If Superman wants to lose to Supergirl, uh, uh, Supergirl, it can't be like an illegitimate fight. Because let's let's be honest, Supergirl is not stronger than Superman. She's just not. <laughs> like the comics have made it pretty clear um, that she is not as strong as Superman overall. And I think that's because he's just older, and has more experience than her. Like in um, the, I think it's the comic. And in the movie, just uh, Batman Superman Apocalypse, uh, where she shows up in that comic, she goes, like, she can metabolize uh, yellow energy a little bit better than you. Might be her youth. She might be stronger than you. It's like, well, yeah, right. She's, she's, yeah, sure. She's stronger than me. You don't do that. Point being, though, they have both Superman and Supergirl who alone could take on the vast majority of this era, the uh, Smallville Justice Society. The only ones here who actually would be posing a legit challenge to any of these guys would be the Spectre, Dr. Fate, uh, and Green Lantern, and maybe the Flash. But the problem is they also have their own Flash, who we know can go, has like the Speed Force and could go through alternate dimensions, hence how we did have that crossover with um, Supergirl and, um, and Flash at one point. So, the Flashes will cancel each other out, and it's very possible the CW one or Arrowverse one is stronger. So, that leaves you basically now with your big heavy hitters, Green Lantern, Spectre, and the Atom. What the Spectre is actually capable of doing in Smallville, I don't know exactly. Because, for some reason, anytime I try to... Um, Anytime I try to get a clear-cut answer on this, it will not give me it won't give me an answer. Like I'm trying to click on the character's name and it will not like go to the um, the character's like bog. It just complete it just reloads the screen. Um But I mean the Spectre in theory is a character that not even like Superman could be, in theory. But again, it's all of the interpretation. So now you just have Doctor Fate and Green Lantern there to pose the biggest threats. So what about on the ground level here? Well, I don't know enough about the John Dickel character. It's implied that he was going to get a Green Lantern and become a Green Lantern himself. 
but whatever. So then you have uh, one of the canaries, uh, the white canary, who could go toe to toe with the current black canary. You have bat, you have bat girl or bat woman, who uh, can f go toe to toe with your hand to hand combatants for for a certain like she can't she can't take on multiple fighters who are just as skilled if not more skilled than her in one go. But she could hold her own. Uh, and then you get black bolt there who can uh, or who can. Um, you know, keep you know, provide cover fire for her as well, and keep up with most of the meta humans. Really, your biggest hitters on Smallville side are going to be Doctor Fate, Green Lantern, and the Spectre. Again, not really knowing what the Spectre is ultimately capable of in this case. So, in that case, because we don't know that, we got to go Doctor Fate, and we got to go um, uh, Green Lantern. And so, really. It's it, the question is is Superman and Supergirl from the CW are they stronger than Smallville's Green Lantern and Doctor Fate? Seeing as Doctor Fate was killed to restore Martian Manhunter's powers, apparently, um, and the question was how. I don't know exactly per, uh, per se. In fact, you know what? Let me see here. Should actually okay. So, Dr. Fate, Martian Manhunter, patrol nitrogen plant to look for Icicle 2. They find dead security guard, clear store Jordan's powers. Jonas cars it, it kills Dr. Fate and takes his helmet. Uh, Clark confronts... Uh, Clark. Okay, so... Yeah, it, it wasn't someone magical or anything like that. It was just someone... The, the villain got by, got around, got to Dr. Fate and killed him. That implies... Because here's the thing. I don't believe that the CW universe, the Arrowverse, has ever implied the magic weakness that Superman and Supergirl should theoretically have. They've only talked about the kryptonite thing. Now, I, I, as far as I know, I got off Supergirl after season one. I could be dead wrong on that. Uh, but even if I, I am, it doesn't seem like the Doctor Fate that we see in uh, the Smallville universe is powerful enough to really be doing a lot of damage to these guys. Plus, again, they got the super speed, everything along those lines, and he got killed by another villain. So... He he's probably not going to be able to match up to them, which then leaves the question, is the Green Lantern from Smallville strong enough to um, uh, strong enough to basically take on Superman and Supergirl? One of them, I would say, yeah, uh, I would say that, uh, yes, he can. He could take on the um think words here he could take on one of them. he could probably take on superman or supergirl because again these are much weaker versions of the characters than we normally get um but ultimately uh, it's the fact is that it's two on one at that point after you have all your other forces taking on supergirl and superman could easily just overwhelm green lantern and then put him down i think for me the big problem is you don't have a supreme heavy hitters that counteract the other heavy hitters on the team, uh, on the opposite team. Smallville's heavy hitters, like I said, are most likely Flash, Green Lantern, Doctor Fate, and Spectre. Adam could certainly do something, but again, the small, uh, Supergirl and um, Superman's, you know, vision and stuff like that, they'd p be able to pinpoint the Adam and you know, kick his ass in his whole body, and Anaphor just boom. Excuse me, by the way. But, like I said, the Flashes are probably going to cancel each other out. Spectre, I don't... There's just no real... Nothing I can find on his actual abilities, per se. Um, uh, so, the, so, honestly, it then comes down to Green Lantern and um, Doctor Fate versus Supergirl and Superman. And from what we've seen, they're probably capable of, like, taking down those guys relatively quickly without having to um, worry too much about them getting the uh, getting an attack off on them. And even an attack from them probably isn't going to put those characters down very hard. It's not going to do a significant enough amount of, uh, significant enough amount of damage to end it. So... I would say that, yeah, it would probably go to the Arrowverse version of the Justice Society. And that's what I'm calling it. If it's called something else, so be it. But I'm calling it that because it's not the Justice League. Um, so ultimately, yeah, I would go Arrowverse Justice Society. But 
Who do you think it would be? Do you think I'm completely wrong? Obviously, I don't know enough about Smallville or even the Arrowverse to really probably give a co true comprehensive opinion. So if you know more about these um, universes, let me know. And uh, if you agree with me, then let me know. And if you disagree with me, let me know. I I'm curious to see what anyone else knows. And if you're asking, why are you doing this if you don't know you don't know the people? Well, I did the best I could with what I have and because someone suggested it. And that's how this channel works. If you don't like that, well... Yeah, suck it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, that's you. You guys, I make up the channel to run, and sometimes it runs on a very, uh, you know, ill-fated engine of my brain. <laughs> Either way, thanks for watching, though. I do hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. And I just for who would win: Star Wars, Superior, Magic, What If, anything I do on the channel. Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get that at some point. Uh, I do have the Green Lantern video that's going to come out tomorrow. I have no videos, uh, no other videos for today. Uh, I'll, I pre-record the Green Lantern videos on Monday because then I can pre-record my... Because I work Monday through Tuesday, so I don't have time in the day to actually do it for that day. Uh, but I like to try to get them out as early in the morning as possible. So what I do is I pre-record the day prior to get it out the next day. So I'm going to pre-record my Atlantic Core video in a little bit. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, though. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell if you want notifications. See you next time, folks. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong button. Later.